This is a short video on three top tips for accessing articles when you're off campus. So the short version of this, the sort of TLDR, is basically don't go direct to journal websites because they don't know that you're from the University of York and they don't necessarily give you the access that you're entitled to. You could be asked to pay for something that you should be able to get to for free because we've already paid for it in the library. So if you follow our links, from uh, our website, then they will automatically authenticate you. They'll ask you to log in as a York user um, and then you get the full access that you're entitled to. So this is what works. This is what ensures you get access to articles when you're off campus. So here I am on JSTOR. I've gone straight to JSTOR.org. It doesn't know I'm from York and so the download PDF option is, is greyed out. I can't use it. Um, I can go to that thing at the top that says log in through your library and type stuff in, but why take the chance on not being able to get in when you can just go via our links and then they will uh, show you the the articles that you can get to so the second tip is you'll find these links on your search or on the subject guide the e-resources guide and browsing and those last three they're all linked from the your search homepage. so as long as you can get to that either by typing yoursearch.york.ac.uk in or going to the library homepage, or it's linked from various places on the university website then you can find all of the rest so here i am on your search homepage. You can see along the bottom, subject guides, e-resources guide, browsing, they're all linked there. So I'm going to type in my search, New York. Um, I just want peer-reviewed journals. So down the right-hand side, I can refine my results. I'm clicking on peer-reviewed journals to just display them. And then here are my results, 6 million of them. And underneath each result, there is various options. So on this third one here, I'm going to click full text available. And that's going to take me to the journal site. Now, sometimes we have the journal through more than one publisher or more than one provider. So you might see two options or three options in this box. In this case, there's just one. Here's the key bit. I've clicked on it and I'm being asked to log in. So it knows I'm from York. Here's the, the journal homepage for that particular issue of the journal. Here's the article that I want. I click on it and then I can read it on the screen. And there's also the option to download the PDF if I want to. But here I am in the article because it knows I'm from York because I've logged in. So back to your search, there's actually a simpler way for a lot of these. So download PDF will, will display under lots of the articles that we have. And you can just click on that and go straight there. You don't have to go to the publisher website. You can just go straight into the PDF and start reading whenever you see that. So that's by far the simplest way of getting to what you need. Back to the your search homepage. Um, I'm now going to follow a link to the e-resources guide. This allows you to search by category. So you can see, for example, all of our newspapers in one place. In this particular case, I'm going to click on the e-journal collections category, scroll down a bit. I fancy some 18th century journals, so that's what I'm going to click on. Um, and you can see at the top in the URL there, um, it's actually not just displaying the normal website. It's got this libproxy.york.ac.uk thing in. That's because I followed the link. That's what enables the journal website to know that I'm from the University of York and give me the access that I'm entitled to. Tip three, if you're using Google Scholar, you have, you've got to tell it you're from York. So you don't need to do this when you're on campus using a campus PC because it will already know. But when you're not on campus, you need to go into the settings and then go into library links and type us in and then it will display the articles that we have access to because it talks to our catalogue and it knows what we have. And by the way, York University is not us. We're the University of York. York University is in Canada. So if you put that in, it's going to cause all sorts of problems and result in you not getting what you should have. So here I am in Scholar. I've gone into settings uh, and you'll see there is an option here for library links. And this is what you need to do. Just go to library links, type in University of York, and then tick us on the list of sites that come up. So not York University, University of York, and then press save. And from then on, it should remember that you're from York. And then when you type stuff in, you'll get this full text at York notification on the right hand side. You can see there where we've got access to the article. So there's no guesswork. There's no going to the publisher website and seeing if you can log in. You just know and you can just click on the PDF link, go straight to the PDF and start reading about bats in caves. Right. So remember, if you want to feel triumphantly successful like this person on the screen, don't go directly to the journal websites. Instead, follow our links from your search and those other sites I mentioned so that they authenticate you as being a member of the university and give you the access you're entitled to. And if you're using Google Scholar, tell it you're from York in those library link sections so that you'll get the notifications of when we've got the full text available. Best of luck with your searching and I hope you find everything that you need.